News tonight, a major announcement from Pope Francis who declared the death penalty inadmissible. News for Utah's Nick McGurk spoke to Utahns reacting to that major change in the church's teaching. A lot of people are kind of reeling from that and trying to figure out what exactly to do. For Catholics, a major shift in teaching as Pope Francis declares the death penalty always inadmissible because it attacks human dignity. He said that, uh, that the, the capital punishment is inadmissible um, primarily because of the, the dignity of the human person. Brandon Peterson is an assistant professor lecturer at the University of Utah and though the church has slowly evolved on the death penalty issue, he says today's change to the catechism is a huge deal. Capital punishment is something that, um, that, that a lot of people uh, support here in Utah. The death penalty is on the books in Utah, including death by firing squad. But the biggest impact could be for Catholic politicians who might have been pro-death penalty in the past. Today, New York's governor is pushing to end capital punishment in that state after the Vatican's announcement. I think that he doesn't have the right to speak amongst an entire religion. Yet not everybody here in Utah thinks the Pope's announcement is relevant to their lives. Riddell Mackey was raised Catholic but has since left the church. I don't believe a person should have the right to rape, kill, and murder, get 12 trials to go through, waste money, and then still have the opportunity to live after taking another person's life or ruining another person's life. I'm a very eye for an eye person. In Salt Lake City, I'm Nick McGurk, News 4, Utah. Now, according to the Pew Research Center, 53% of Catholics favor capital punishment, but 42% oppose it.